No. <laughs> For somebody to say bad word, like you said to No, that, that's, that's, that's an analogy because a last speech you cannot, for example, Sorry. me saying my mother in Arabic language, she said in English, both of safe, same, yeah. But I'm talking about the Quran. The Quran is, that's why the Quran is special. It's not like our speech, it's Allah's speech. So now when you say Allah said, uh, all praise to Allah, and I never said all praise to Allah. Allah revealed the verse, Allah, Allah said, Alhamdulillah. Mm. So you have to stick what Allah said. That's why the beauty of the Quran has not been lost because we're very strict how to recite the Quran. We cannot be reciting the Quran in translation. You know, because uh, uh, you cannot really give uh, the, 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 the speech of Allah justice with other languages. You understand? So Maybe the best Abu, thing... Adis, Abu Hanifa say you can pray in your own language? I don't know about Abu Hanifa's opinion. I don't know. But I know that, that uh, the prayer, the Ula mentioned that the prayer is by, uh, uh, is tawqifiyya, by way of revelation. So you're, allowed to, you're not allowed to use such fatah in your own language. But you have any verses in the Quran to say you cannot pray any other language apart from Arabic. You have this verse or did Allah say? It, 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 that's what I'm saying. Prophet Muhammad SAW said, pray as you see me praying. And this applies to everything. You cannot come just say, no, he meant only ruku'ah. You have to, now what you're doing, imagine now I say, pray as you see me praying. You go said, no, Shamsi meant only bowing down and prostrating. Mm. You, are, you are specifying my speech. So you have to bring proof, not he has to bring proof. Because mm. my, my, sta my, my statement here is a general, you understand? So we cannot specify what the Messenger of Salim uh, uh, made something general, you know? And this goes back to the Usul Fiqh. That if something of Salim made general, you cannot come and specify it by your own ishtihad. No. Yeah. No, 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 if, he, if I see, prophet, let me say this, if the way Prophet Muhammad is praying, <laughs> the guy is praying like that, but only the language is different. So he's not what praying. He's, he's not praying, praying like Prophet prayed. Because Prophet never everything. prayed. No, he's not doing everything for that. Because Prophet never prayed with all praise due to Allah. Yeah? Prophet never said all praise due to Allah. Prophet said, Alhamdulillah. You understand, Akhi? So the Quran, if someone said, recite the Quran, and you start reciting English, you don't recite the Quran. That's not the Quran. Allah said, We have sent the Quran the Arabic language. Yeah, because it's, yeah. Muhammad is Arab. Yeah. You have to no, say that. No, no, no. Because no, Prophet Muhammad is an Arab. About the Quran that Allah spoke with, he spoke in Arabic language. So, you understand? So, Prophet Muhammad is Yeah, so that he can understand. Yeah, but I'm saying the Quran, look, look. The, Allah spoke with the Quran in the Arabic language. If someone said define Quran, the Quran that was is in Arabic, yeah. also that Allah spoke with it through Jibreel to Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallam, and we use it, we do the Nata'abbad uh, bihi uh, for Salat, you know? Do you know As a mu'ajiz, thing, of course, the other side. Do you know another thing I think you're missing out on, yeah? Mm. You're looking at the actions. Do you know what the Prophet Sallam said? Pray as you've seen me pray, yeah? You're just looking at physical yeah, actions. His speech, he did, he's still, it's just still an action. It's still an action. Yeah. So you cannot, we cannot now say, yeah. Specify it to yeah, specify physical. Say it, it excludes his speech. Because what it sounds like you're saying, this? Yeah, it's as though, yeah, the speech who's this? is not included. Sam, so welcome. Do you understand, who's brother? Because his speech is still an action as well. It's still an action for you to say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. That's still an action. Is that yours? Do, do, do you understand that? That you cannot now, yeah. you cannot now restrict it to only his physical actions. You can't, it, you can't yeah. be done. You have to bring a proof for that. So as Prophet Sallam said, yeah. Sallu kama ra'aytum al yusalli. And that's how we keep it. Uh, so for, I know, I know dua, yes, dua. If I pray in my, uh, if anybody pray on his own language, it's not a prayer. No, it's not because why? In your own language is not. If you don't know, the Savi goes, okay? Yeah. Allah is going to judge you if Savi don't know. But the prayer, that especially I'm talking about the Quran. You are not reciting the Quran when you're reciting English. You are reciting the meaning oh, of the Quran. Yeah. So when Allah says, Qul huwa Allah, ahad Allah, say Allah is yeah. one and only. Yeah. Yeah. Is it that Quran? When I say, when I read Quran, I say Allah is one and only. Is that Quran? No, that's the meaning of the Quran. That's mean. Is it that Quran? No, yeah. no that's no. the meaning of the Quran. That's not the Quran, that's, that's the, the meaning Quran. of the Quran. You differentiate between the meaning and Allah ahad doesn't mean just one and unique. There's other meaning for it too. So you're not going to erase the all meaning because one word in the, right. uh, Allah's Article speech, Article. one word has many different, uh, has different meanings. In your prayer, you're not going to mention the all other meanings. But when you say in Arabic, yakfi. It suffice, you know? That is like reading a, Quran now. Eh? That is like a, when you read Quran. That's what Quran, in, yeah. In, in That's why I saw it kind of, even about Allah's names and attributes. Can we translate them in English? No. You just translate the meaning and you, it's a rough meaning. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, 
They said it's most merciful, most beneficent. Mm. If I say don't fornicate, is that the meaning? That's the meaning, yeah. Is, that is not the word of God. No, Allah never spoke. Allah never <laughs> Brother. If I say to you, if I say to you, don't, don't lie, is that the word of God? Yeah. Allah never said don't lie in English. Allah said in Arabic. No, it's no, in no, Arabic, no, brother. Yeah, so that's it's the word, that's the meaning. Because do, do you know what is the difference between translation? What is the translation? Yeah. Translation. What the meaning? Huh? But in the, if you, like, when you say that. Well, uh, lie, brother, I'll just cut you, yeah? No, it's it was just good. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, uh, you know, you know there's, there's two types of. Discussion. There's a yeah, praiseworthy no, discussion and blameworthy discussion. Yeah. Blameworthy discussion sometimes it starts as praiseworthy, but start, start leading us to blameworthy. Okay. What we do, we stick to what Allah said, what Salam said. Okay. Now when you said, when I say do not fornicate, it's Allah's word. It's not Allah's word because if you look to the definition of what is translation, translation with someone translating the meaning of your words. Mm -hmm. That's not your words. No. You see. So he said he said the meaning of this. Let Allah Allah's speech. So tell the brother, look, stick to what Prophet Muhammad said. If you don't know, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to judge you. Allah said, لا you, لا, لا you kalif Allah nafsan illa yeah. wusaha. Yeah. Yes. And the guy will take you, you go to Juma mosque. Yeah? Like pray in the mosque. Yeah. And then the Imam will say, Allah said. Yeah. After that, he will say that in English. That's wrong. That's why I said, if you notice my videos, I said, Allah said, I call the verse in Arabic, they said the meaning of the verse. Because Allah never said that, Allah never said, do not fornicate in English. Allah said, Wala taqrabu zina. You know? So that's why we have to, that's why the beauty of the Quran, the beauty of Quran. What does it mean in English? What do you say? There, there's many meanings. Don't come close to zina, but any way that leads you to zina, you have to explain it now. You see? But that is the word of any way, No, that's not the word, brother. The word of Allah, that Allah <laughs> spoke, La taqrabu zina. But what Allah want? Allah want to ask to follow the Sharia of the Quran, or you want to ask to follow the Arabic? Uh, firstly, Allah wants to recite the Quran the way it's been revealed. Eh? Allah wants to recite the Quran the way it's been revealed. You want me to understand? Or you no, want no. That's to uh, firstly, Allah wants to recite the Quran how it's been revealed. If I don't understand Arabic, yeah, I'm, I, I, that's what I'm saying. If, if you cannot understand this beyond the boundaries, yeah. okay? So you, you can say in own language. However, in the prayer, prayer, there's ibad kul ibadat tawqifiya. What is tawqifiya? Is by way of revelation. revelation. You cannot come make your own ishtihad. You know? For example, as I mentioned, now I, want, I love Allah. So I said, you know what? I pray five rak'at for dawn. If someone say why? I said, because I love Allah, so I want to pray extra rak'at. Say, no, it's wrong. Why it's wrong? Why? Five rak'at. What's the problem? With, you don't want me to prostrate more to Allah? No, you're going to tell me no. There's a co two conditions you're missing here. One of them is there, the second one is mission, uh, missing. The first one, hopefully you are praying sincerely to Allah. The second one, it has to be according to the way of Al-Mustafa alayhi salatu wasalam. Do you understand, Akhi? So that's, a, you know, uh, that's it. So it's just simple. If you cannot pray in Arabic language, I mean the Quran, especially the Quran. For dua, when he's making dua, he can make dua in, own, in his own language. Okay, I, I get that. And then, if I pray. Yeah. I pray in Arabic, don't get me wrong. Yeah? Okay, you pray in Arabic, so yeah. Fatiha in Arabic. After Fatiha, and then I will say, Sabi Ismarabi, after all this, and then I don't understand what I see. But that guy say in his own language, he understands everything. He yeah. said, God wants that. No, no, that, uh, is, that is what no, 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 this argument is not, is not very valid. You know why? Because firstly, you have to learn the meaning of the Quran. That's what Allah said, Tadabbaru. Allah said, uh, um, Allah review the verses to reflect upon it. So you recite in Arabic language in a prayer, then you read the meaning. In the Sanakhi. So that's a, the point here is that to make it simple, take a look, brother. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, pray according to Nabi Aisha said that. Okay? Pray according to Prophet Muhammad. Do you understand? Or the meaning, or even the, the hadith, you said the meaning of what Prophet Muhammad said. You know? So that's, How are you convinced? Huh? Are you convinced? No, oh, because I have to convince. I can't. My point is not to convince you. My point is to convey. No, but are you? I'm asking you I a question. No, but I'm asking you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking you a question. Are you convinced by what Shams is explaining? Yeah, yeah. So you're you're fine with that. Yeah, I am. So you yeah, can explain that to the individual. Yeah, I, what you have to do, brother? Look, this is something because there's people recording. Mm. Our point is not to confuse the people, mm. because why? Prophet Muhammad SAW, who had the best speech, SAW. Many people claim they were, they were not convinced mm. by his speech. Mm. What was Allah said? Mm. What is upon the messenger to convey the message? For you to, to accept, 
That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Inna ka la tahdi man ahbabt, wa lakinna Allah yahdi man yasha'. But in another verse, Allah, uh, the, the meaning of the verse here, you don't guide whoever you love, but Allah guides whoever he wishes. So Allah said here, O oh Muhammad, the meaning of the verse, you don't guide whoever you, you love. But another verse, Allah said, Inna ka la tahdi ila sirat al-mustaqeem. Another verse, the meaning of the verse, Allah said, to Prophet Muhammad, the meaning of it, you guide the straight path. Allah here said, you cannot guide whoever you love, the meaning of the verse, of course. The other verse, Allah said the meaning of the verse, you, you, you guide to straight path. So does he guide or does he not guide? Here the scholar said, no, there's two types of guidance. There is a guidance when I show you the way by giving you da'wah, and there's a guidance when I change your heart. And that does not belong to no one except to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You see? So as for Irshad, surely the correct way, the du'at can do it. But changing the heart, that's why Allah said, إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءَ The meaning of the verse, you don't guide whoever you love, but Allah guide whoever He wishes. So it's not open me to convince anyone, it's open me to convey the message, try to use my best to convey the message. If the person is happy and accepted, Alhamdulillah, you know? So, likewise, you going back to Makhi, if he's not convinced, then listen, Makhi, I'm not going to speak on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm telling you what Allah, Allah said, Prophet Muhammad said, the ulama said, the scholar said, you know? Khalas. As for, like now, for example, people say music. For example, just side point. People say music is halal. He said, why you, why you say music is haram? People say, okay. They said, make it easy for the people. This is not about making it easy or not. This is about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not for you, for me or you to go say this halal is haram. You know? So if somebody, like somebody follow Islam, yeah. he pray on his own language, he do everything perfectly. Yeah. And the guy also pray, let me say, the guy pray in Arabic, he do everything perfectly. Yeah. That guy that do everything on his own language, he will never go to paradise. Ah, oh, no, no, this is it. Go in paradise. No, 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 no. Go in paradise, I think it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he's doing it on purpose, he knows what he's doing is opposing the deen of Allah, then of course, it's under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is it's dangerous because he's it's, it's, it's inventing, you know? But if he doesn't know, he didn't know. Like for some, if someone knows, listen, in the society, how you recite Allah's in Arabic language, that's, that's the Quran. When you recite in English, you're not reciting the Quran, you are reciting the meaning of the Quran. Like for example, Alhamd. Alhamd, what is Alhamd? No, what is the between Alhamd and Shukr? So we don't say our praise, you think that you are translating. That's a rough translation. Hmm. Alhamd has many meanings, you know. Subhana Rabbika. Subhana Rabbika, the correct translation to translate it, it came from the Sabaha. Sabaha, sabaha means someone is far away. So it's Sabaha Isma Rabbika Al-A'la means to say, not that people will say glorify your Lord. Yes. Glorify your Lord by making sure that your Lord is far away from any imperfection. Are you going to say that in Fatih Quran? You're not going to say that. You're going to say glorify Allah if you are saying what Allah said. Allah didn't say that. You know, that's one of the part of the translation, the meaning. Yeah, yeah, so the Sabbih isma Rabbik al A'la. Subhana Rabbik Rabbi al Izzati. What is the meaning of Izza? The people say Almighty. No, that's not That's part of it. There's Izzat, uh, uh, as uh, Ibn Qayyim mentioned, there's Izzat Quwa, there's different types of Izzat. So that's my point, Sakhi. May Allah bless you. Barakallahu feekum. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. May Allah bless you. What's your name, Sakhi? Dennis. Dennis. Nice to meet you, my brother Dennis. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.